What's up and welcome back to part three of coaching up the Trend Twins back day, guys. Today we're gonna to break down single arm dumbbell rows. I see this done a lot of times. We're gonna break it down today and get it down right to the square, to the square. The f they mean? We're gonna get down to the root of things and fix these one arm, single arm, one arm unilateral, single lateral one arm rows with the dumbbell in your hand, single arm. Cause I said it already, single arm. Just watch the video, learn some shit. Okay, let's jump into it. We're doing some single arm dumbbell rows. And like the Trend Twins, right here doing them like this. It's a very normal way to do them. Are, are they doing it wrong? No. Is, it, is there a wrong or right way of doing things? I look at it as like a more optimal and I won't say it's suboptimal, like when it comes to your goals. And I'll tell you why, how I'm gonna coach it seems to make a little more sense in terms of like really building the body, especially the back, or the thickness, right? So like traditional people doing the, you know, will come up the whatever, they'll get it and they're like this. Let me get like something like this or, or like this. Let me get, this is very, I used to do this shit. I used to do all the time. I mean, you know what I mean? It's, it's, we're working, it's cool, right? We've got the open one like this, right? We got the, the hand down here and the here, I've done that before. We got the one hand this way. We got, you know, there's a bunch of ways you can do it. Now I've, I've adopted a couple ways over my years and I've came to the conclusion that I like the way that Mike Van Wick does it and I like the way that I do it. And by the way, either way, here's my breakdown of how we're gonna do this. Now, if you look at range of motion, right? You know, where are we putting this thing? You know, the higher, the higher we go, right? The less range of motion you can get. Remember, we want this arm to travel as far as we possibly can to get to this point under a load, right? So the higher this is, the harder that's gonna be to do that, right? You just, he's really not gonna get much. Now, traditionally, you can get yourself down like this and great, but then if you're looking at like this, if you look at range of motion rise, rump wise, right? If I'm like this, look where my arm is, look how far it has to travel. Especially if I'm doing one of these where I'm kind of pulling here and then doing this. It's not going far because my hip has been lowered all the way to the ground. Look at my hip from here to here, then from like here to here. It's got to travel further, right? And we're looking at building the back, I'm like, you all get it sick of me saying back thickness. Like, well, that's what we're trying to do with this. So you guys understand, I'm like, you're not doing these rows and trying to get wide, right? I don't want to see somebody be like, yeah, man, I'm going to get the widest back doing some sweet rows. It's like, you're not. It's not going to get a wider back doing rows. You're going to get a thick back doing rows. So what we want to do is we want to emphasize, again, your shoulder blades opening up and then having to come back and retract. Opening up and then coming back and retracting. That's what we want to emphasize through all these movements. Full range of motion. And to make the exercise that much harder and efficient, we're trying to take away as much momentum as possible. We want to make sure that that muscle is doing all of the work, all of the work. The other muscles are there to help out for stability, blah, blah, blah. But we want that muscle to do all of the work. If you gotta put some like force reps and stuff in there or change some rep schemes and set schemes to get, you know, the, uh, to just deploy to failure or whatever it is, great. But when it comes to rep for rep, we want to make sure that that muscle is doing all of the work. So what does that mean? So here's a couple things. Standing this way, and again, what, what we want is we want the arm to come from here. Our, our goal is if you look at my shoulder right now, traditionally we have, our, people have the thumbs locked in right here and then they'll pull from here, right? The shoulder's already basically locked in here, right? We, and then the range of motion isn't that great. We're just doing this. We're getting a nice little bicep pump and a little bit of low lats, low lat workout, boom, right? We want to increase that range by putting the hip a little higher, getting in a more athletic position. Mike will do a little bit of a, you know, you can tilt your feet towards it if you want to, if you need to, to really get yourself that feel. I'm gonna keep myself just hinged a little bit, a little hinge and a little bit of an angle. But when it comes to this, Hand placement is gonna be active. Mike will say push on it. I'm gonna say just make sure you're active, right? You don't want this kind of like limping around and kind of doing this. We also don't want you just really just like, just t too active up here and we're just really just, just forcing this. This is terrible for your, for your shoulder. So being active here, like I wanna push into this. So I'll have some stability from here, regardless if you're from here, 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 or here, we're locked in this way. And we wanna have this so our shoulders opens up and stretches. You see my shoulder blades right now? My shoulders are even. 
and we want to finish off with even shoulders. We want to finish off that full range, right? A retracted scapula means both of these are retracted. This is, here's our end range. So I want to emphasize this. I want that to have to work, have to move and travel far, right? I want that to travel far, right? That's what I want to happen. And I want to do that with as little momentum as humanly possible. So how we're we going to do this, we're going to set up this bench, we're going to get ourselves close enough so we're not reaching, right? We're going to get ourselves here, we're going to get ourselves back enough because, you know, if I'm sitting like this, there's not much, there's no, we're not going anywhere, right? The range of motion is minimal. So I'm gonna set myself back enough where if I relax, see which room I have, I can just reach down and you see I'm fully protracted. I'm, I'm reaching like, I'm not, just, I'm not just bending and going down like this. I'm here now I'm literally reaching. You look at me, I'm reaching down to grab this, right? I'm gonna slightly turn myself in a little bit so I can right, keep this close to my body because I don't want this thing to come out like this. Right, I'm not trying to have it come over here and my elbows flare out. I want to keep it nice and aligned where it comes just like this, right to the pocket, here and in the pocket. And where I start is where it's going to finish. So I don't want, like, I see a lot of times people trying to do this. They're trying to, I'm working my low lats. So I'm just going to do this kind of like pull thing where I'm doing this weird thing here, which is just, just don't do it, right? And again, we just want to be close enough to our body. So when we pull, it comes right up, right? I'm not dodging anything. I'm not like trying to pull it this way or, or I don't know, or just stay like this. Get yourself in close enough. I have to be so wide, obviously over exaggerated, but yourself nice and close from here. Twist, pressure here, active from your chest, holding the weight from here. When I pick the weight up, I'm gonna let it pull, let it, I'm gonna let it hang. So I get the full range. See my scap open up? Then from here it's pull and back down. Right, pulling, cracking the elbow, keep it close to my body. All the way open. I'm letting this thing hang. All the way to the bottom. And letting it hang, right? And if you do this, when you do dumbbell rolls, I promise you, you're gonna feel, you're not gonna have to go here and, and do this to get the low lats or, or sit up high like this and, and wipe your arm like this for low lats. You will feel your entire back working more efficiently, more effectively throughout the entire range of motion. For a little bit of like biology, muscle anatomy. Your back muscles, they attach right here at your hip. They come all the way up, hit some ribs and stuff and then hit to your arm and they basically, I can do this, pull my hip up like this, crunch it down like this. this it, it's like your entire back. So when I'm doing a row like this, where I'm elongating that range of motion, to hold myself in position, I can feel all of my hip engaged, all the way up to my lat. My lat's stretched all the way down. I'm still depressed, I'm not reaching here, it's right here, right? And then as soon as I pull, that shoulder's coming back. It's not going up here, I'm not doing this. It's going, it's shooting back. Let it hang, get that full range, right? You're not seeing any momentum. And for you guys out there like, oh, let's see some heavyweight, Johnny. Uh, here's, a, here's a hundo. You know it's real. And hang, and it's hang. Hang. I don't care how heavy the weight gets, you control it, and as soon as you can't control it, oh, rest, pause, or oh, I'm going to do a drop set. I'm going to continue that great form because I'm going to swear by that. And that's what's going to get me to develop to have the best overall shape. So next time I get on stage, the judge is like, you're going to work on your back thickness. Right? Right? Use straps, use a belt, I don't care what it is, use whatever assistance you need to keep yourself locked in, focused, and optimal. Anyway guys, that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. And if you guys use any of these cues, let me know in the comment section below. And guys, if you liked the video, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and share. 
You know I'm a couple that tell it is transparent, vulnerable truth. And for coaching, guys, johnnysheep.com. If you want to know more about my coaching, book yourself a 15 or 30 minute consult. At the end of the consult, I deduct it off any package that you pick. Also, guys, hit the description below for those discount codes and promo codes that'll save your life or change your life for the better. Like Johnny Tan for 10% off bluestarnutraceuticals.com. Anyway, guys, add me on Instagram, TikTok, and Snapchat. Send me your progress pics, your training pics, and your video clips, and I repost it for you because you know how it is. Iron Shepherd's Iron, progressive overload your life. In the meantime, keep dream chasing. Peace.